ago, we were just on top of what? River Gambia. But guess where we are? We are currently on top of Lake Togo. <laughs> you see me right now? I'm not scared anymore. I don't even have my life jacket because they are telling me that there is no life jacket. So you see what I've been doing for you guys, man, risking my life just to go and see the beautiful Togoville that all of you want to know about. When you talk of Togo, it's all about history, culture, and what else? The beautiful people. Yeah. But today we're gonna learn about the origination of the country Togo. Aya, aya. here at Togoville you know like this is where you're telling me that I need to visit before I do anything here in Togo what is so special about this place you know what just calm down I can't you always you. keep on telling me to calm down but I'm always because I know that there's something bigger wow what's coming wow I, I don't know that much yeah here but just let me introduce you someone who can yeah. <laughs> my Togo. brother yeah. thank you so much you're gonna be our tour guide today yes, yeah. but I just want to know what is so unique about Togoville? Because everyone is telling me to come visit this place. Yeah. Why? So this is one of the important places of the whole Togo. Wow. Because all start from here. Yeah. Big because it, yeah, from here. before it was a kingdom. Okay. So uh, the name of Togo come from here. Oh, okay. Because before they say Tuago, it is now local language, Ewe language, Ewe language. which means under the mountain. Not. But that time there was the German, so they cannot well pronounce the word Togo, so they said Togo Stadt in oh. German language. So yeah. in that time, Togo was colonized by by the German people. German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the French, the came. French people. Yeah, okay. it is after the first war come right. the French people. Okay. So then they changed the name Togo Stadt into Togoville, because oh. Stadt it means in French ville. Ville. Yeah, and they say Togoville. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it is the name Togo they give to the country Togo Togo. So that's why people used to say Togo Togo. Yeah. So which means the entire country got its name from, from here, here. Yeah, yeah from That's here. Why everyone is telling me to come in here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow so yeah. you know what you have to take us around show us all we need to know what makes this yeah, place yeah. so special here this is the monument of conflict of generation oh, okay. you see so this is the old man and this is the young man oh. so the young oh, the old man is giving advice to the young man yeah and you see it was built in 1982 Okay. to give advice to youth people in the village here. Yeah. Because wow. in that time they say that the youth people are not listening to the old people. So that's why they build this monument, especially to teach uh, young people how to respect people who are old. Oh, so yeah. which means that even right now the young people in here are respecting the old Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why sometimes they call the children here, then they give them advice how to respect people, people who are old. Wow. Yeah. And then this one is using the stool. Like he's using the stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you see, this is new generation. Yeah, new you generation, see, he's yeah. dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Catholic church. Yeah, Catholic church. Yeah. But uh, uh, built by the German in 1910. Built by the German. By the German. Yeah. You know what I actually read was that this place is a sacred place. It's a sacred place. Yeah. Being a sacred place, how can you have um, the Catholic church also in here? Yeah, because you know. Uh, when they brought the Catholic religion, uh -huh. it, was, it was not accepted. Okay. So there was a fighting between the, the two religions. Okay. But finally, they accepted Catholic like a second religion. Okay. And even what is the very important is that in 1985, the Pope John Paul II, mm -hmm. so he came here. He came here? Yeah. And oh. when he came here, there's a lot of people. And he was welcomed by the voodoo priest who make a ceremony to welcome the Pope here. Oh, so the main religion that, that is here yeah, it's Vodou, is the yeah. Voodoo. Yeah. And right now they have the Catholic Church, Church also yeah. in here. So which yeah. means that we have two religions in here, the Voodoo and, and Catholic. And Catholic. Yeah, no yeah. Muslims in no, here. No, 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 no. Only two religions, Catholic two. and Voodoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when the Pope came here, there's a lot of people. So he decided to make the church outside here. Yeah. When he and came, he decided to make the church outside. Outside, yeah. Instead of inside? Because there's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have here the date of the building. Oh, 1910, okay. yeah, by the German. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And when the Pope came here, so he asked the Togo government mm -hmm. that this place must be the first pilgrimage place of all the country. So that's why every November, there's the pilgrims come here for uh, service here. Yeah. And for reason why the Pope came here, because in 1940, they saw the Virgin Mary on the lake. Yeah. 
So the Virgin Mary, Mary appeared, appeared on the, on the lake. lake. Yeah. So it is the way she appeared. Is that the paint of the podium over there? You see? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so that, that's how she appeared. She appeared. Yeah. Is that? Is that? Like that. Yeah. yeah. And who? The, like the artist drew. Draw the way. Uh, yeah. Because in that time there was a painter, so he, he draw oh, what he saw. What he saw. Yeah. Oh, that's how the Pope came. Came here. Yeah. Uh, brother, like. What is this? Like I don't read French, but yeah. I've seen something yeah. like yeah. No so, phone allowed. Yeah, during the service when they make church. Okay. Yeah. So and you have to. to so it's not allowed to dress like this and come to the church here. Yeah. Stop! Don't yeah. look at me like that. Look, hey, we don't qualify to be here. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, from from head to toe, we don't qualify to be here. Yeah. You know what? No, so we have She's to start. Yeah. And we continue. Yeah. The and here, when they have a small service, so they do it inside here. Okay. Yeah. And you see all these scents, the paints on the wall? Yeah. yeah they are African scents. Oh, wow. So they are the people we call them uh, Martyrs de l'Uganda. Okay. They are Martyrs of Uganda, yeah. So they are those people who sacrifice their life for freedom of Catholic. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So if you read under the pictures, it's just the way they kill them. Okay. Is that the right and the right pictures here? Yeah. They died? Yeah, they died because they don't, it's not allowed to practice Catholic religion in that time. But in those, here. not here, in Uganda. Uganda. Yeah, oh, yeah. what is Uganda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but those people want to practice and then they kill them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, interesting. You have here, uh -huh. uh, in 1973, for okay. intronization of this place, so the Pope he sent the picture of the Virgin Mary to show to the villagers. So you have here, this is the boat which brought the picture here. In the beginning, it's with a wood, but there are some Catholic people they come here and they have to have a piece of the wood because it's something holy. Okay. So finally, they make cement around the rest to show to the visitors. So if you knock, you see that there's a wood inside here. Because in the time that she appeared on the lake, for people here, they don't believe that it's the Virgin Mary because they don't know anything about the Virgin Mary because they only have wood religion. Okay. Yeah. But in that time, when the paint draw what he saw, they post it to the Pope. So she, he finally confirmed that it is the Virgin Mary by sending his picture here. So you have here the original boat which brought that picture here. So we are going to see the picture inside here. Okay. Yeah. And you have the, the picture that the Pope sent here. So, yeah. Now we are going to see the first wall of the village. Wow. Built in 1910. Same year as the church. Same year? Yes, as the church, yeah. They used the same wall to build the church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Because in the moment they are building the church, it's what is in dry season. Okay. So the water of the lake is salty. Oh, wow. So this is the place to find the water to build the church. Wow. So that's why they have the same date, 1910. And the church also 1910. Yeah. But it's still using people's stick gallons water here. Oh my god, this is so deep. She make love. Oh my god. This is so this is the marketplace. Right. And so every Wednesday, so they make the market here. Oh, this is what you're talking about, the yeah, butter trading? the butter trading, yeah. Oh, okay, so the exchange fish, fish and, and the agriculture, agriculture things, yeah. Uh, you know what I wanted, like, right. uh, come, come. No. Come, come. No, I'm not come. in that. I wanted yeah. to go for yes. some butter trade. Yeah. I give her and then maybe I take some fish, fish because I love food. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have here, this is the monument of friendship between the German and Togolese. Because their friendship have started in 1884 when they signed the treaty. It is one of the treaties signed between the chief of Ye, Mapra the Third, and the Gustav Nashtega. He is a, he is a German. Yeah, for the protection of the German people in Togo here. Okay. But they have done this one in 1984 for the 100 years of friendship. Okay. So if you look on the monument, we have one woman of German and one Togolese. The bed is sign of peace. So when they have some manifestation, they put one flag of German here and one flag of Togo. Because every 5th July, there's manifestation in the village here to remember the German people. Wow. Yeah. So uh, can you show me which one is German, which one is Togolese? Um, which one is German, which one is Togolese? Well, yeah. No, African is Dobub, so definitely I would say this one is Togolese. No, I would say, say. And you? I would say that this is the Togolese. And, and why you? you say that this one is Togolese? I'm saying Togolese because, you know, um, one way, African women got everything. Um, so she got everything, and um, let me do, oh, and also the hairstyle. The hairstyle. The hairstyle, and uh, the way they dress. Because I've seen the the Togolese people, like most of them, they cover their whole body. Yeah. And you? Um, first, because of the nose, 
her nose. Yeah. And then the way she she dresses. She dresses, like, yeah. Um, okay, so you win, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I won. Yeah. yeah. You see, if I if won. you take the nose, you see. So yes. she, the the one on right is Togolese, and the one on left is her German. You see the the way she dressed. Okay, so now we are going back to the voodoo site to visit some voodoo. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you.